Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact sedan from Toyota, the 2017 Corolla Altis 2.0V, another compact sedan, this time from Volkswagen, the 2018 La Vida 1.4 230TSI Comfortline DSG. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2019 Bentley EXP100 GT Concept and the 2020 Buick Enclave. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickup trucks, the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada and the 2019 Sangyong Muso. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall add the recently held interactive car cleaning experience with German car care brand Sonax on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. to expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph/afpca2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. The Toyota Corolla Altis has been in the local market for 50 years now. Hence, it is among the nameplates that have become familiar to the public over the years. In this car review, we shall take a look at what it offers. Right off the bat, the exterior of the Toyota Corolla Altis exudes a sporty vibe, which is a must in a compact sedan. Let's start with the front fascia. The front bumper features a larger central air dam and neat cutouts for the fog lamps. The variant that we have here, which is the 2.0 VAVT, is the only one that gets to have a two-lamp LED and gun metallic rib with auto leveling, which further frames the sports grille, while the 1.6 variants come with four-lamp halogens. On the side, subtle character lines surround the Corolla Altis. Toyota also added rain-sensing wipers to this variant, while the other ones get the standard wipers. 
Also for the 2.0 VAVT variant, 17 inch alloy wheels are present, which add to the character of the car as it powers through the road. Meanwhile, the rest of the variants come with 16 inch alloy wheels. Overall, the exterior of the Corolla Altis is one that is bold and straightforward while also maintaining elegance. Let's now take a tour inside the Corolla Altis. Inside, the all-black interior that is complemented with blue lighting and chrome accents will be the first thing you would notice, plus the sports leather upholstery which is only available in the 2.0 VAVT variant, as the rest of the variants only get fabric. When it comes to the seats, the driver's seat in this variant is available with power, 8-way configuration, while the rest come with reclining, sliding, and vertical height drive adjust. For added convenience, the Corolla Altis comes with features that ensure the convenience and comfort of the passengers, such as an automatic climate control system, power steering, power door locks, power windows, and power mirrors, among others. Additionally, for entertainment and navigation purposes, the Corolla Altis is equipped with a 4.2-inch color display that comes with a smartphone mirror link and is available in USB and aux connectivity, which is now a big plus point in cars in its segment. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. When it comes to safety and security, all variants of the Corolla Altis are equipped with features that ensure a safe ride for the driver and passengers. It comes equipped with various active and passive safety features such as cruise control, vehicle stability control, anti-lock brakes, parking sensors, and seven airbags. Moreover, the variant we have here is powered by a 2.0 V-liter dual VVTi engine that delivers 145 PS of power and 187 newton meters of torque, and is made into a seven-speed continuously variable transmission. Smooth handling and quieter cabin is managed by a McPherson strut at the front and a torsion beam at the rear. Simple, straightforward, yet it manages to do its job. The latest generation Toyota Corolla Altis. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Mitsubishi Expander Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa Enlex Esitex. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong humarap sa anumang di nasa ang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa Enlex nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagapin at iligtas sila. Kami ang Enlex Esitex patrol crew, kaagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay.
welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Toyota Motor Philippines has officially launched in the country its flagship sports car, the all-new Toyota GR Supra. Following a special teaser at the Vios Racing Festival, the new model was unveiled in a launch event in Makati City attended by TMP's premium customers and prospective clients, Toyota dealer management, and guests from the media. The all-new Toyota GR Supra, otherwise known as the A90 or Mark V, is the first ever Toyota Supra to be retailed in the Philippines. TMP is making history by having the much-anticipated model locally available through 16 of its certified GR performance dealerships nationwide. This is the fifth generation Toyota GR Supra. The first ever Supra was uh, launched around 1978 and many years has passed and then the last generation, so from first to fourth generation, from the last one it's already been 17 years. So now we're all pretty excited to launch it here and this is also the first time that the Supra is being sold in the Philippines officially because the previous generations were sold in other countries but not in the Philippines. So we're excited to make this officially available for Filipinos. Most of the Toyota cars, the design is mainly traditional or conservative, but the Toyota Gazoo Racing development or the team behind the sports or motorsports section of Toyota developed that Toyota GR Supra precisely to make a vehicle that's very exciting, very powerful. So we wanted to add that in our lineup also to show to everyone that Toyota also has this very exciting uh, brand as well. The Philippine variant of the all-new Toyota GR Supra is powered by a twin-scroll turbocharged inline six-cylinder engine that produces a maximum output of 335 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. The interior is very up to the modern times, so what we have is more of the feature specs such as a, an 8.8 inch display instrument cluster. We have modern steering wheel with steering switches as well as paddle shifter, shift by wear 8 speed automatic. We also have an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen display audio with navigation as well as Bluetooth and an aux port. Besides this, we also have a power seats with memory, adaptive variable suspension, so we have both performance specs as well as Comfort specs. The design is uh, more modern compared to before, so what they did was they made it more aerodynamic with some heritage points from the previous A80 Supra as well as the 2000 GT, They're, uh, one of Toyota's first ever sports cars, such as the bubble type roof. Besides this, the quarter panel in the back is designed to have maximum bend, so it's something that was previously thought to be very difficult to do. However, the Toyota engineers were able to find a way to be able to bend it just enough to have a maximum aerodynamics. Set as low and wide as possible, the all-new Toyota GR Supra has an athletic stance that evokes a dynamic look referred to by Toyota engineers as the condensed extreme. Its prominent grille is flanked by large air intakes on both sides, whose character lines meld seamlessly down the flared spoilers and trapezoidal bumpers with dual exhaust pipes plus diffuser. The silhouette profile is perfectly accentuated by 19-inch forged aluminum wheels and custom-made tires by Michelin. The Supra is available in eight colors. So first we have the prominence red, which retails at 4,990,000. Next we have the metallic colors, so that would be ice cream metallic, deep blue metallic, lightning yellow, black metallic, white metallic, which would retail at 5,050,000 pesos. And we have uh, the matte gray, which would retail at 5,090,000 pesos. Actually, we have 70 dealers nationwide, but we identified 16 GR performance dealers. They're very accessible. We have in Metro Manila, Northern Luzon, Southern Luzon, in Cebu, and in Davao. So our Supra customers have nothing to worry about. Our dealers are accessible for them. And we also made sure that when they are authorized sales dealers, they are also equipped to service uh, these vehicles to make sure that they are taken care of now until in the long run. Yes. I think what viewers can expect is that uh, the all-new Supra will have a good mix of both performance as well as comfort. They can see that the driving dynamics of this new vehicle is something that you have to experience as well. Please come and visit our um, GR performance dealers to see the legendary and iconic Toyota GR Supra soon to meet it up close and personal. <laughs>
Motor Image Filipinas, the exclusive distributor of Subaru vehicles in the Philippines, recently held the Subaru Ultimate Test Drive Year 2. We are here at the Mall of Asia uh, concert grounds. So it's basically one big parking lot. We're holding today second of a series of our Subaru Ultimate Test Drive. So this was launched last year and this is now our second season. So here, it's showing to the public capability uh, of a Subaru car. So we have installed here several obstacle course, the slip rollers, the side ramps, and the uh, X-mode ramps, which basically shows how versatile and capable uh, a Subaru car is. Subaru's four core technologies, the symmetrical all-wheel drive, boxer engine, Subaru Global Platform, and the iSight Driver Assist work together to give outstanding drivability performance and driving confidence to its customers. During the event, the all-new Forester, XV, and other iSight-equipped vehicles were available for anyone to try and experience. So all-new Forester and uh, XV is featured car today. Both has iSight feature. In fact, uh, included in the course is an iSight test drive course as well. So iSight is a new technology from Subaru. It's a basically driver assist technology. The Subaru Ultimate Desk Drive will also be heading towards Cebu and Davao in August and South Luzon in November. We would like to invite everyone to please visit us. Come and visit any of our Subaru showrooms, this is nationwide, to take a look at our cars. And also, uh, as early as now, we would like to invite as well everyone to uh, join and participate in our ultimate test drive in Cebu and Davao. We still have the Forester XT, this iconic model that we have, of course, uh, that turbocharged Forester. We still have a few units left, and we would like to invite again everyone to come and visit not only this leg of SUTD, but also visit our nearest showroom and get the iconic Forester XT with 300,000 savings. How is that? Okay, so thank you everyone and hope to see you soon. Caltex, marketed by Chevron Philippines, recently announced their latest campaign. World Record Breaking Fuel, collaborating a two-part series on National Geographic's record rides to demonstrate how Caltex Fuel could power record-breaking feats. Today we came to the event at the Blue Leaf in Pasay and we witnessed the Guinness World Record for Caltex that they set going up a mountain in Thailand in the fastest possible time in an ordinary regular car. This event's been a great way for us to showcase the achievements that we had with Caltex with Techron powering a world record, the fastest 1,000 meter ascent up a mountain in Thailand called Doi Chang. So Record Rides is actually a TV show that Nat Geographic put together for us to document Guinness World Record attempt. As you will see in the show, two characters, Casey Montero, who's obviously well known in the Philippines, and a Jamaican racing driver, Natasha Chung, went head to head to build and rebuild an old car and then race it up the mountain in the fastest possible time. According to Caltex, they partnered with Guinness World Records and set a timing of 6 minutes 52.692 seconds with Natasha Chang achieving the coveted title the fastest ascent of Doi Chang Mountain Road by using a 28-year-old car. The company adds that through the world record powered by Caltex and Tecron, the campaign encourages drivers to fuel up the same fuel that set a world record and experience its power in their everyday drive. Our main objective in setting this world record is to show that Caltex with Tecron works in ordinary cars. The cars that most Filipinos would own, whether they live in El Norte or whether they live in Mindanao, these ordinary cars can do extraordinary feats if they're using the right fuel. And in this case, it's Caltex with Tecron. So we know that clean engines perform best and Caltex with Tecron is great. In fact, it's unbeatable at keeping engines clean. Now, we were here in the Philippines back in October, and we looked inside a whole bunch of engines. We took photos inside the engines at the critical engine parts, and we found a significant number of vehicles in this market actually have dirty engines. So by keeping those engines clean, you can actually get the best outcome in terms of power, fuel economy, emissions, reliability, and smoothness. So all of those benefits that are great for our everyday customers 
they're also the same ones that were required to do something extraordinary like break the world record in Chiang Rai. We felt that this is a story really worth telling consumers and drivers in the Philippines. And Nat Geo, I think most people would agree, are one of the best storytellers in the world. They have so much experience in making film, and obviously we were doing the film in a very beautiful mountain in Thailand, and we wanted to capture not just the driving, but also some of the nature aspects and some of the interesting local things that happen there too. The campaign rolls out in Cambodia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia and Hong Kong from July to October 2019. Caltex also introduced their latest brand ambassador, Jose Sixto Gonzalez Dantes III, or commonly known as Ding Dong Dantes, Filipino actor, film producer, television presenter, and an effective endorser. Well, I would love to say to everyone in the Philippines, which is one of my favorite countries, please come to Caltex, please use Caltex fuels, because you know you'll be doing your car or your vehicle or even your jeepney a favor by choosing the best fuel in the marketplace. Thank you. Isuzu Philippines has turned over a brand new Isuzu EXRQL tractor head to Excelsior Custom Brokerage's main office at Imo City, Cavite. Excelsior Custom Brokerage, which has been in the international freight forwarding custom brokerage and trucking business for over 15 years, had been traditionally using Isuzu branded surplus units until it decided to refleet with brand new trucks starting in 2018. This has been Excelsior's second acquisition of Isuzu trucks. The first was in 2018, when Excelsior bought an Isuzu EXR52F tractor head. Both purchases were facilitated by the Isuzu Alabang dealership. Acquiring brand new Isuzu trucks is surely a value for money. Not only are these trucks reliable and durable, it is also safe and comfortable to drive. Brand new Isuzu trucks are in excellent operating condition with maintenance schedules performed by highly trained service technicians who strictly follow these specifications and done in service centers that are equipped for the job. And because the trucks are brand new, clients receive only the best components, guaranteeing the reliability, proper care, maintenance, and longevity of the service. True to its guarantee of being a responsible partner, Isuzu Philippines also conducted a basic operation training seminar for drivers and operators of the E-Series QL ZF transmission last May 10 at the Manila Jockey Club in Carmona, Cavite. Here, Excelsior's two designated drivers were trained to properly operate and drive the Isuzu EXR QL and were also briefed on the best practices and practical applications for the E-Series tractor head. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online, just a click away. The Tactical Survival and Arms Expo is back this year with a more intensive take on the global issues on environment, economic uncertainty, security threats, and the like. Visitors may avail of the free seminar during the event. The expo will take place on July 18 to 21 at SMX Aura Convention Center, SM Aura Premier, BGC Taguig City. Admission is free, pre-register online. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019 2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. 
It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Mitsubishi Expander. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this Head to Head, we will see two of the latest pickup trucks in the local market today battle it out on which one has it all when it comes to specs, features, and unique offerings. One is the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada, and the other is the 2019 Sangyong Muso. Watch this. Our first stop, the exterior features of the Mitsubishi Strada and the Sangyong Muso. Let's start off with the Strada. The exterior of the Strata follows Mitsubishi's design concept of rock solid, the brand's unique statement when it comes to the design and styling of its new products. The front fascia is highlighted through this high-engine hood light and beefier looking lamps. Not just that, as Mitsubishi tweaked the exterior lights a little as well. The headlamps are side by side with the daytime running lights now. Also present in the front bumper are the fog lights and turn signals. Meanwhile, the side and rear views come with sculpted body curves with contrasting sharp lines, extended wheel flares, and bright accents. On top of that, since it is a pickup, it's necessary that the trunk bed is deep and wide enough for the cargo to be secured while the car is running. The Strata has exactly that. More on exterior features, it powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels. On the other hand, here's the Musa showcasing a masculine exterior. Its face is comprised of a radiator grille and these halogen headlamps with daytime running lights. You can also find character lines just below the belt line, a small detail that gives the Musa's body more character to it. Over at the rear, the taillights are sort of bigger than the ones in its predecessors. In addition, the cargo bed may be shorter than the previous ones, but it's deeper and wider and could carry more extra baggage. The Musa comes with 18-inch alloy wheels which contribute to its presence on any road. Overall, exterior-wise, if you're after a pickup, which exterior is simple and straightforward without compromising style, then the Muso is a better choice. However, if you're looking for one that looks more rugged and bold at the same time, the Strata says hello. That's enough for the exteriors. Let's hop inside our featured vehicles. The interior of the Strata also gets a modern look just like its exterior. Everything is wrapped in premium leather, providing a cozy touch. Also, soft pad materials and stitching can be found on the floor console, armrest, and parking brake. The seats are wrapped in leather, of course, and they are made more comfortable than before. But what sets its interior features apart is this compartment right here that serves as a mobile tray, a helpful feature if you need a place to store your mobile phones while traveling. In addition, at the back of the center console, you will find a similar compartment, complete with new USB ports. The Strata is equipped with an air circulator that absorbs air from the front air vents, then transfers it to the back. For the infotainment system, the Strata comes with a touchscreen display system that is available in AM, FM, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. Meanwhile, Sangyong takes pride on the interior of the Muso. With its spacious cabin and the speed-sensing power steering wheel that comes with a heater, it's easy to see why. Not only that, the seats are wrapped in a premium brown Napa leather. For added convenience, the Musa is equipped with dual-zone auto climate control with rear vents. Plus, the window on the driver's side comes with one touchdown option, among other interior features of the Muso. Another thing that completes the interior of the Muso is its infotainment system, which comes with an 8-inch LCD smart audio with USB Apple CarPlay and Android Auto navigation. These six speakers handle the enjoyment while traveling. At the end of the day, it all comes down to which one offers more features that focus on the comfort and convenience of the driver and passengers while also appealing to the eye. 
Both the Strata and the Muso are equipped with the needed features. It's up to you to decide which one matches your taste. It's time to check out what's under the hood of the Strata and the Muso. The Strata is powered by a 2.4-liter DOHC diesel engine that is capable of producing 181 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. The variant that we have here is made to a 6-speed automatic transmission in place of the old 5-speed. Meanwhile, other variants of the Strata come available in the existing 6-speed manual transmission. The Strata also now features a Sparta Super Select 4-wheel drive or Easy Select 4-wheel drive system, which allows the driver to switch the driving mode depending on the roads the car will take on. On the other hand, under the hood of the Muso is a 2.2-liter turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 179 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. These figures are mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission that transfers all power to two wheels. All Musa variants are 4x2 and come with an automatic transmission except for the two Musa Grand variants that come in 4x4 and a manual transmission, respectively. The Musa also offers various driving modes which the driver can choose from depending on the road condition that the pickup will be taking on. Moreover, both the Strata and the Musa focus on ensuring safety and security through their respective features. The Strata is equipped with advanced technological features such as advanced safety features like forward collision mitigation, blind spot warning with lane assist, rear cross-traffic alert, and ultrasonic misacceleration mitigation system, among others. Meanwhile, the Musa is equipped with features such as anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, remote keyless entry, rear view camera, and six airbags. Those are the latest generation of two known pickup trucks in the local market the 2019 Mitsubishi Strada, and the 2019 Sangyong Muso. Have you decided which one you'd go for? That's it for Head to Head. We hope you have enjoyed. More about the automobile here in Auto Focus as we usher in our segment, featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars, as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing in this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2019 Bentley EXP100 GT concept. Let's watch this. Bentley Motors celebrates its 100th birthday by unveiling its vision of the future of luxury mobility at the home of Bentley and crew. The Bentley EXP100 GT is a physical embodiment of the future Bentley brand, reimagining grand touring for the future. Beyond mere mobility, the Bentley EXP100 GT concept car will enhance the owner's grand tour experience, whether driving or being driven autonomously. Bentley EXP100 GT is born from pure Bentley DNA and is inspired by the company's deep understanding of the desires of its intelligent, forward-thinking customers. Beautifully styled, it embraces artificial intelligence as a means to reassert the car as a place for creating, experiencing, and capturing extraordinary human experiences and emotions. Designed from the inside out and taking advantage of an all-electric platform, Bentley EXP100 GT reimagines the grand tour for the world of 2035. This is a world of shared luxury experiences where passenger and driver enjoy equal status in their enjoyment of the extraordinary journeys. The car's presence and impressive exterior proportions are reminiscent of many of Bentley's historic grand tours but take this luxury hallmarks into the future. The result is a future vision commensurate with Bentley's status as the world's most sought-after luxury brand. Sustainable and intelligent, a battery electric powertrain with intelligent power and charge management will ensure that the Bentley EXP100 GT is as powerful and exciting as its conventional predecessors. Next generation traction drive will enable maximum control via torque vectoring, applying 50% increased power and 35% less mass for more effective cornering. The battery system will power four motors that offer a 0 to 100 km time of less than 2.5 seconds, a top speed of 300 kph, and maximum torque of 1,500 Nm. Future battery technology will offer five times the conventional energy density, and charging the Bentley EXP100 GT to 80% of capacity will only take 15 minutes. Charging is automatically taken care of by the Bentley Personal Assistant. Weight will remain at a remarkably trim 1,900 kilograms and a range of 700 kilometers will be possible.
Flex Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Mitsubishi Expander. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Solex, Germany's well-known automotive car care and detailing brand, recently held an event which focused on the brand's lineup of products as well as its rich history and even richer goals for the future. This in celebration of the introduction of the brand in the country. We have the highlights of the said meaningful event here on Special Feature. Watch this. Ich bin Sonax. Your girl Sonax. Ich bin Sonax. I am Sonax. Ich bin Sonax. Ich bin Sonax. Ich bin Sonax. I am Sonax. Sonax recently held an event at the Escala Hotel in Tagaytay City with its newest products on the spotlight. Sonax representative Werner Hoffman, area sales manager for Asia Pacific of Sonax Germany, hosted a classroom session with the select members of the motoring media, wherein participants learned more about the history and the unique proposition of the German car care brand. Sonax is a, a brand coming from, from Germany, exclusively made in Germany, and we bring the product to the market in the Philippines. And actually, we feel like the time has come that the Filipino market is mature enough to sell and commercialize car care products made in Germany because the car market in the Philippines is also growing, maybe not rapidly growing, but growing on a good level. Ich bin Sonax. The classroom session focused on the brand's light-up, which included the gloss shampoo, easy shine, high-speed wax, a brilliant shine detailer, extreme interior cleaner, leather care foam, tire gloss gel, and wheel cleaner. A 
aside from that, to further showcase the capabilities of Sodax products, the event featured an activity wherein the participants engaged on the task of cleaning their personal cars. According to the organizers, this is the best way for them to not only experience the Sonax line firsthand, but to know more on how to take care of their vehicles without having to go to a professional detailer. understand um, cleaning the paint and taking care of the paint it is not as easy as just taking a normal uh, dishwashing detergent and applying it on the paint and after that uh, drying it off because paint technology also keeps on changing car manufacturers as the new cars come change the kind of clear coat you have on the paint so Sonex has got a big R&D team that looks at all the new types of paint surfaces and what they do is they develop products specifically to treat new paint as well as old paint which is why Sonex is always up to date with the latest technology when it comes to paint cleaning. The interactive event was also fitting as Sonex aims to reintroduce its brand here in the Philippines. The company says that the event as well as the latest addition to its lineup of products is meant to bring the brand closer to the public and to raise the level of awareness about the benefits of having your car protected from any element. As an OEM detailing supplier provider of automotive brands for Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Volkswagen, local automotive brands supported the Sonax activity by providing vehicles for the event. Motor Image Subaru provided a 2019 Lavorg wagon, and Nissan Philippines sent their patrol and Terra SUVs that were used as demo cars for the car wash activity. Sonax products and detailing services are available in dealers and car wash establishments nationwide. I am Sonic. Those were the highlights and sidelights of the recent event of Sonax, Germany's well known brand when it comes to every car enthusiast's needs for automotive care and detailing. Our special feature this week. And up next is another exciting feature in Autos of the World. This time around, the 2020 Buick Enclave. Let's watch this. Buick's flagship 7-seater SUV enters the 2020 model year with style and tech updates highlighted by a new sport touring package, a bold monochromatic take on Enclave style that radiates confidence. The ST package features a unique sport grille with body color surround and 20-inch bright machined aluminum wheels with contrasting satin graphite pockets and is available on the Enclave Essence trim level. Powered by Buick's 3.6-liter V6 engine delivering an SAE-certified 310 horsepower and 266 pounds per feet of torque, the 2020 Enclave delivers spirited performance fitting of the Sport Touring's flowing exterior design. The 2020 Enclave features updates for added comfort as well as convenience technology that includes Buick's next-generation infotainment system. The things that make my day, my mini-me, my kind of jam, my passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. 
only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA 2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. Our featured vehicle in this car review is one that has a styling that may borderline on simple and basic, yet does not lack elegance. It may be old school, but it certainly has its own character. We're talking about none other than the Volkswagen La Vida, a German China-built compact sedan. Find out more about it. Watch this. Here we have a German, China-built compact sedan, the Volkswagen La Vida 1.4L 230TSI DSG Comfort Line variant. One that has a styling that may borderline on simple and basic, yet does not lack on elegance. It may be old school, but it certainly has its own character. Our first stop, the powertrain. The Volkswagen Levita is powered by a 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 130 horsepower and 225 newton-meter of torque. These figures are paired with a 7-speed DSG transmission, which combines the convenience of an automatic and the fuel efficiency of a manual. On top of it, the Levita's powertrain is equipped with Blue Motion technology, which makes it lighter and more fuel efficient. For the suspension, it is equipped with McPherson struts with stabilizers at the front and torsion beam with stabilizers at the rear. A bit basic, but it does its job supporting the car amidst road imperfections. There would also be no problem halting the car to a stop if needed, courtesy of disc brakes for both the front and the rear. Enough of the oily technical bits, let's proceed to the exterior and interior of our featured compact sedan. The Levita styling leans towards an old-school design. If anything, its look is similar to the Jetta, except the Levita has a more modern touch to it. The grille is simply accented with a horizontal stripe pattern, and in the middle of it is the brand's badge. The LED headlamps are simply sitting there as well, no complicated styling or anything. These lines that wrap around the car give it more character. At the rear, the taillights are straightforward as well. The only thing that highlights the back of the car is this chrome strip along the bottom of the car. In addition, the car runs on 16-inch alloy wheels. Overall, the exterior of this compact sedan is one that is simple but not boring. Also, it is worth noting that even though the Levita is China-built, the exterior screams German all over. simplicity and the straightforwardness of the exterior continues on in the interior of the car. The steering wheel and the seats are all wrapped in leather which gives it a luxurious and modern vibe even through the entirety of this compact sedan is more old school. Also the plastic material around the interior is Volkswagen's mark with its cars. The cabin has more room compared to other compact sedans in the market probably because it doesn't have much high-tech stuff in its console and dashboard that comes with it. And because the interior is not that crowded, the Levita comes with a spacious head and leg room. For entertainment purposes, the Levita has six speakers and is available through CD, MP3, AUX, USB, Bluetooth connectivity, among others. Additionally, the technologies that provide comfort and convenience to the driver and passengers are what make up for the interior of the Levita. 
It comes with a Climatronic air conditioning, which ensures clean and fresh air conditioning inside the car. There's also tire pressure monitoring system, which checks the tires constantly and maintains the correct tire pressure. Meanwhile, the Electronic Stabilization Program takes charge of the detecting of critical driving conditions. Aside from these, the LaVita is equipped with two airbags, anti-lock braking system with EBD, traction stability control, and parking sensors. That was the 2018 Volkswagen La Vida, a German, China-built compact sedan that comes with an old-school design and styling but offers technologies focusing on the comfort and convenience of the passengers. And that's all the focus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you all found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.